Well, I said it yesterday, if you didn't get a chance to enjoy your Monday, hopefully you get to enjoy today because it was just as nice. I think tomorrow a little breezier, but still very pleasant for most of us. Your first forecast, 37, 30, 48 by noon. It's going to be nice and mild again tomorrow, feeling very much like spring. Maybe it's just me, but being out and about today, it just, it has that feel to it, which let's just pump the brakes a little bit because Thursday, Friday, that's when our next cool down arrives and it will be a significant one. Our highs on Friday, especially well below average. We have a shot at snow moving in, but it is very short lived. We will bounce back uh, already over the weekend, and especially into early next week. So how long can we keep this run going of mild February temps? Well, looking down the road for a little while yet, it would, it would appear. Uh, here's your six to 10 day outlook with temps. Takes us all the way to the 23rd of February. And we are still very much favored for above average temps. Now that doesn't mean we don't mix in a couple of cool days here or there, but right now there really are no indications that we have a significant blast of cold Arctic air on the way. And I am all for that. 54 in Ord, 52 in York. Keep these temps coming in my opinion. 54 in Imperial, 58 degrees in Hebron. I mean, it's nearly 60 degrees in some areas. Winds really haven't been an issue today. Kind of out of the west right now at 5 to 10. They'll stay light. I think they do pick up tomorrow and Thursday and then into Friday as well. So talked about that system yesterday, which already is exiting the New England states, but put behind about 5 to 12 inches of snowfall up in the northeast part of the country. For us, you will notice there are some very weak returns on radar. We have just a little bit of a boundary that's pushing through and it's been enough to maybe get some sprinkles going up there in the northern part of the state. And it's you guys up north that will have the best shot at some moisture the next several days. So we got a little bit of activity out there right now, but overall tonight, uh, pretty quiet for most of us. During the day tomorrow and tomorrow night, most of that stays up in South Dakota. But we can't rule out kind of a rain snow mix there in the far northern part of the state. It is Thursday night into Friday. That's when the more significant push of energy will come in, and that's the one that could bring some accumulating snowfall to parts of the area. Again, doesn't look to be a major winter storm or anything like that, but a big change from what we're dealing with now. 30 the low tonight, mainly clear, mild, quiet, a little breezier tomorrow, but still 55 degrees, incredibly mild for your Valentine's Day, 25 tomorrow night, so a cooler air. Already starting to mix in. 29 in Broken Bow tonight, same in North Platte. Around 31, GI, York, Lincoln, right there along I-80. Temps tomorrow back well into the 50s. But if you look north, Ainsworth, O'Neill, you know, there is some cooler air that will start to move in. And as we look at your seven-day forecast, Thursday night to Friday, a chance of snow moving through. Many of us probably see snow, but as far as accumulations go, that's going to be mainly in the north northeast part of the state. Like I said, short lived. We are back in the mid 50s by Monday and Tuesday. Okay. How dare you take these 50s away from us for three oh, or four days? Sorry. I really am. We just have Will to. Will you forgive you, him? You yeah. have to have That's that right. little reminder. Hey, it's still February. Yeah. Still February, right? I mean, we still got a long ways to go in winter. But We've got third this, winter still coming. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's not this next few days? No, I don't count that. It's mm. too short lived. Just a dusting. Yeah. Okay. You'll know when it's here. I'm sure I will. Yes, we will.